bonus episode, farewell. Get ready. Get ready. I heard his story. I wonder if they're gonna come out with more. <gasps> oh, it's a pirate flag! Where you get to play as fucking Alyssa. Oh, oh. <laughs> Dark Smurks. Dark Smurks. <laughs> you're really, you're my guardian angel. I didn't want to play the original again just to be like, yeah, this was good. <laughs> I don't know why I like this game. <laughs> Um. Is that symbolism? <laughs> Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? Can't you do this She's in the backyard? Cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. <laughs> I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, <Max. laughs> so bad. Such a bad idea. <laughs> Definitely. Especially the running away bit. Like, what are they doing? Firecrackers on Barbie dolls. Oh. Yeah, that's true. I did send her a Barbie leg once. I sent it all the way to Colorado. I sent her a head a couple weeks later. Uh... <laughs> that was truly amazing. Why are explosions so awesome? That's like asking, why are puppies cute? Some things uh, just are. Some things just um, are, Susie. I'm not Aww. sure your mom would see it that way. When she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified how. <laughs> but I guess I better do some actual cleaning, too. It's not nearly as messy. Is that a fucking Miku poster? If you Miku see poster? anything else to trash, help a girl yes, out and Miku. chuck it on the pile um, over there. Trash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Mom! Mom's getting spicy today. Look, it is that guy from Adventure Time. Uh, yeah. yeah. It feels like I've spent half my life hanging around this room. Star, never mind. <laughs> Probably because. Light bulb kingdom. Explore or John. Can't believe those days are all over now. Uh, oh, wait, is her dad still alive? Uh, yeah, she seems happy, so probably. Oh, great. Yeah, like my whole family moved to Seattle. <laughs> like, I have this no idea when I'll like, see Chloe again. Like a pillar falls on This him. could be my last chance to see Who am I going to play as? That's the real question. Am I going to be Chloe or Max? <gasps> Maybe he plays both of them at the same time. How do you tell your best friend that you're leaving her? You haven't told her yet? Oh, God. What, you haven't told her that you're no, that you're leaving! <laughs> it's called Fair <laughs> I better help Chloe with her cleaning. And while I'm at it, I can take pick up Chloe and put her in the trash box. <laughs> around this place. Open the drawer, see if there's a hot dog man shirt there. Oh, oh alright. Firecracker remains. Oh, I can look at everything again. Mom, I'm 28. <laughs> Is that a big old job right there? No, it's a paintball. Let's find out. We what bought this I as a gag years ago. I honestly what can't kind of gag? believe Chloe still has it. it. It's a jawbreaker. It's totally like one of those paintballs. It's a big geos. job. It's a big what job about breaker. this hazard? <laughs> <laughs> a serious uh, biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a quitter. <laughs> Lick it! Lick it! You're right. She just stuffs the whole thing in her mouth. And yes! Swallows. The never ending candy. It's sugar, it doesn't go bad. Ew. I don't think. <laughs> she saved it! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my I am god. not gonna be helping you, Chloe. <laughs> Chloe's been beating me for a while, but that growth spurt could come any day now. Yeah, right. So I got some news for you. <laughs> Circle! Oh, I think Chloe used guy. to call this guy Mr. Sharky. I doubt she plays with it anymore. No, why would I trash Mr. Sharky? I'm not doing that. I'm not trashing Mr. Sharky. He lives. People he say a lot I mean, I don't, of things I don't, about Mr. Sharky, really, but Justice for Mr. Sharky. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Uh, acceptance. I bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter. Been accepted to Blackwell Academy. We've offered 
places to approximately 100 students out of 1,200 applicants. Your child excelled in all criteria. Oh, she's going to get shot in the bathroom. Great. Uh, an open house for admitted to students and parents will be held. Oh, this is depressing a little bit. So this is a lot of bit. I still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is it? Oh, the classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. What about the students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're fine. Oh no! Push! No. Yes, I'm a friend. Push Chloe, it. you are terrible at hiding your feelings. Is everything okay? I don't know. I just I like hanging out with normal people. Like you. Thanks. I guess. You know what I mean. I I hate fake people. You're real. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, shit. What is it? I hate phonies. <laughs> you phony. You're a big phony. Alright, uh, look. Hey, what's your dad's Sorry, camera Max. doing in here? You'll get that later. Dad said I could bring that it up too. here for you to use. <laughs> He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. His words. Your dad is the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. <laughs> we need to keep him on his toes. <laughs> You're oh, off to a good start. The first ever selfie recorded in history. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's great. A, it's a daguerreotype. It's kind of cool. The daguerrean process. Done. Today, oh, beat it. Today Speed run. Did I ever tell you that, like, a week after I played that game, uh, I, I took my Praxis exam for art education and it came up as a question? Oh my god, and you're like, the Dicarian process, Mr. Jefferson, out loud. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really and then they you. kicked me out. That's actually the real reason I failed it the first time. <laughs> I was lucky to survive Chloe's magic phase with all my fingers intact. Was she trying to take your fingers? Yeah. Uh, that I think we can trash. Let's trash. This seems like a good candidate. Are you insane? That's my entire It's true. It's been pretty heavily uh, foreshadowed. Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? Yeah, that's what pulls it out and eats one every few years. Just to keep people on their toes, like, to to menace them, you know? You haven't touched these. You don't think I'm crazy? I am crazy. I eat fingers. Maybe because my assistant turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. At least you didn't saw me in half. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? Uh, you held up one thing, Max. Put it back. <laughs> Put it back. Put it. I also need that Pringles can too. I'm just gonna leave the smoking remains on the floor. That's not garbage. That's perfect. It's perfect. Uh, can I look in the garbage? Lie down. I need a great ball. Lie down. No, I'm not lying down on her bed. Not yet. Not yet. As usual, Chloe's yeah, grades are better than mine. Good. Oh. I still kick her butt. Yeah. <laughs> really, Max? You excel at phys ed. <laughs> Whoa. What the fuck? No, that's Chloe. That's Chloe. No, she goes, I have better grades than her in phys ed, at least. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess phys ed's not exactly the hardest thing to get a good grade in. Well, she got a B in it. Chloe did, so... Let this box of trash be a sacrifice to you, oh almighty Chloe Bear. Ooh. <laughs> we all collectively groan. Um, oh Chloe and I haven't played this game in forever. <laughs> Don't torment and me. And I'm pretty sure it's missing. Did you pieces. see that fucking? No. Yeah, there's there's a fucking one that there's there's this knockoff um sorry game that's, that just says Don't torment me, and the, <laughs> the subtitle is um the chasing game that really frustrates. <laughs> Oh. This was the first really unsupervised concert together. It was so much fun. We were supposed to see another show next month, but... How sick was that show? <laughs> well, how do you know what I'm thinking? The sickest. I've been working on my moves for the next one. Check it out. No, that's Max's dance! <laughs> <It's a meme. laughs> it's a meme. How about you? I get memed on. Yes. Yeah, totally. I've been working, working on my on air guitar. <laughs> your hips are doing more than your hands. Damn, Caulfield. Save something for when it counts. <laughs> Good to know All you're right. always terrible. Back to the junk mines. Good to know you haven't changed. 
<laughs> Terrible dancing. Oh my god, that's what I meant. Uh, I feel like every time I try to throw something in the garbage, I trigger a scene with her, but yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to like not be able to look at everything. That's like my greatest fear. <laughs> do you think we get to what take pictures doing? or do graffiti? Adding this to the pile. No freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. <laughs> you beat me? You beat me? Yes, <laughs> BS. The last time we played, I wiped the floor with you. Poor Max. Losing your memory at such a young age. Guess we'll have to play again soon and find out. Ooh, that was a good way to, to lead into that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my now god. I'm ready. I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. Oh no, no fucking Chloe's way. I gotta look at everything. always preferred imaginary animals to real ones. Well, besides Bongo, of course. Oh, is Bongo Chloe's dead already? Chloe's mom Bongo. wanted yeah, Bongo. us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to do. Bongo's imaginary. Instead, yeah. we so played dress up for an hour. Oof. Chloe's had this hung up on her wall forever. But neither of us can figure out what happened to the last panel. I hope Dr. Kloenstein's okay. Oh, <laughs> that's depressing. It says, our crime fighting is really soared since you created those rocket boosters. Of course, the power of flight does tend to make things easier. I'm sorry, I can't read. I have shitty glasses. Dr. Kloenstein? That's it. Because she's dead. I like how mm. small that comic is and how the letters are like perfect. Yeah, that's good. And it's like the boxes are perfect. Yeah, like Chloe does pilot, know how to draw, but as a middle they're schooler, like... I would just draw the boxes, you fucking whore. <laughs> she's a high schooler. She's not some kind of plebe. A doll head. Look at the doll head. Look, she, look at this doll head. No, not that. You mother. Just I want to look at the. Okay, just click and look. I can't. Oh, there we go. I had to like Live fast, I to close die that. young, and go out with a bang. <laughs> Rest in pieces, doll. <laughs> Oof. Oof. She left a good-looking corpse. I just wanted to open the door. Good. Filled with bad dragon dildos. Oh. Whoa. Talk about embarrassing. What happened? What? Well, They're boy know. bands, I think. They're boy bands that she's drawing dresses and boobs on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You definitely, Chloe, you want to get rid of this. How about these boy band trading cards? <laughs> Super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? <laughs> funny <laughs> back then! <laughs> that was pretty funny. When we were ten. <laughs> Don't you think it's time to let the boys go? go Not Chloe. yet. Boy toys stay. For now. Oh my gosh. Chloe, please. Chloe, you're becoming a hoarder. <laughs> well, I mean, her room is, like, way worse <laughs> later. <laughs> I think we can kind of see where this is going. Yeah. It's still Chloe enjoyable. Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. Uh, I'd say. Ooh. I'd rather take pictures. Mm -hmm. Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks and school supplies. Our friend suggested we start feeding Suki like red meat because it has iron too. Red meat? I don't know if she'd eat it. Um, like, I know Kai doesn't like it. I know Kai doesn't like it. Well, if we cooked it, maybe. That then it wouldn't be red awesome. anymore. It'd be brown meat. Who else but Chloe could turn cleaning her room into a pyrotechnical adventure? <laughs> We're not I'm not even. I'm not even gonna we? play. Like throw the shark away. All right, the hoodie. Let's look at the hoodie. Chloe's had this hoodie for years. It's her favorite. I don't think she'd mean to throw it away. Save it. Contribute to the mess. What are you doing? Your favorite hoodie. You must have thrown it in by mistake, right? No. It, it's, it's fine. <laughs> but I'm going to keep the boy band garbage. Falling apart. I don't that never stopped holes, you from wearing it before. It's fine. Really. It's not. Why am I here? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you ask me things? 
Yeah. All right, I am gonna I'm gonna pretend to trash the shark even though I don't mean it, just to see what she says. Yeah, just to see what she says. You better not be thinking what I think you are. I haven't seen you touch this guy in years. Why do you care? Why do I care if you throw my beloved childhood friend into the trash? That deserves an answer. What about me? I was your sorry, Charlie. That's better. <laughs> Max, just get into the garbage box. You're done. She's like, I'm okay with this. All right, I've seen everything. I think, right? So, yeah, you get to speak to her. That's your right. reward. Is you get to speak to Chloe. All right. Not like we've exchanged enough banter already. That's it. I'm what? calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. Well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? All right. And now we've got the whole day ahead of us. We've got a nice ass room. Two undersupervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today. Clean rooms. Quote, I guess no. At least you clean the debris up from the explosion that you caused. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and tell her later. Oh, Max. Tell her now, you fucking dingle. <sighs> it might ruin the mood of the day. No, tell her now. You have to tell her as soon as possible. Okay. She might be super salty, Actually, though. Actually, Chloe, I really have to tell you something. It's... Uh, I... She already knows. She already fucking knows. Don't know how oh, to... Shit! Max, hold that thought. This must have fallen out when I was digging around in here. Do you have any idea what this is? Okay. Uh... <laughs> Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate face. Your powers of deduction are as strong as ever. Because now it never this ends tape for Chloe. It's from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Ready to find out? <laughs> we have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, Captain Bluebeard, Bluebeard and Long Max oh Silver. <laughs> you are such so, You're in search of buried <laughs> treasure, are you? always you? will be. Well, if it's treasure, you see. It's the one that we have to do back then. Two fair pirate wenches. I remember. Uh, you're very, what you're that? Five no years way. Old, so We're in the middle of an important project. Oh, project. Never mind. Well, not actually that long ago. Actually, it'd be like eight years ago. They were eight, eight, years, eight, eight, eight years old, and they're like 16 now. 17. Oh. So lame. I don't know. I can't remember what happened in the summer, like this past summer, so. I only know that distinctly because, uh... I'm trying to remember what the weeds the that I want to pull up look like before they get the seeds. Uh, I cannot remember. Nice. To find the treasure of Price Isle, you will yeah, need the map from the manuscript. Making a message to yourself in the future to listen to the <laughs> It's green, and I hate it. Listen, if you remember to listen to the team, you're going to remember exactly where you hid the treasure. Again, mm, only those who are hearts will be able to see what the amulet shows them. But she doesn't have a very big backyard. Yeah. And Assuming that's where they bury uh, it. Why? <laughs> Dude, that was... <laughs> hey. Hilarious. We were so, so ridiculous. We still are, Max. We still are. <laughs> okay, okay, forget everything. Today... We go treasure hunting. Today, we die. I think I know what eight-year-old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. She pulls out the Bible. Oh, sketchbook. This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. They go on like a fucking. Uh, See this map. Oh, God, what was that movie? The one with like the stealing the Declaration of Independence. Oh, uh, I think it's just called, like, the Declaration of Independence or something. 
those Nicholas Cage shows up. Yeah. They unbury him. He is the treasure. <laughs> he is the treasure. <laughs> He's just like, I don't remember doing this. Oh, they made their own ship. Aw. They are the ship. They have a cockpit. Sorry, I'm stretching. It's, it's adorable. Oh, it is. Aww. Aww. I thought it was Bongo. Well, no good. bathing, no boys on the ship, no sharing se pirate secrets. Always share plunder, always bury treasure, always protect fellow pirates. Failure to obey these rules will result in plank walking. Another day of plunder and destruction on the high seas. Our just buried treasure has come under attack again. The evil commander Shelley, enemy to all pirates, has threatened to take the map from us if she sees it. Surely she has heard of how valuable our treasure is and wants to steal it from us. We are doing our best to keep the map hidden as we continue to work on it. Because our enemies want our treasure so bad, we must make sure the map is only readable to us. Ca oh boy. <laughs> Captain Bluebeard and Longback Silver to more plunder and riches. And she wrote in script. This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. It's got a perfect corner right there. Hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think, Do you think the it's map? the map? This if it is, there's out. no way I would have thrown it out. <laughs> Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? So much for telling Chloe now. <laughs> All she cares about so is finding us. So much for telling anymore. I can't tell her. I lost my chance. Oh, look! I remember writing this. It's a story where you choose what happens. When? Okay, listen. I wonder if I can still get to the end. And you're like, I have something really important I have to say. You don't immediately change the subject. Yeah, unless you know what they're going to say. Unless you know what you're going to say. Yeah. Which is, I, I think, she knows. Max and Chloe's sewer adventure. Oh, boy. She wrote her name as Maxine. You are Max and Chloe, the best friends, students in the whole school. You sit in class until suddenly a cute squirrel arrives at the window. It is so cute. Do you want to pet it? Pet oh the squirrel, God. page I eight. This. I did this Don't pet shit, the dude. squirrel, page three. Really? Yeah. Aww. I mean, fucking choose your own adventures. That's so cute. God, they're oh. very weird. Okay, so wait. We actually have to go to the right pages. Okay. okay. So do you want to pet the squirrel or don't pet the squirrel? Um, I, this is, like, immediately I can tell that they already fucked up making this. Because <laughs> page one, it should either go to page two or page three. And then it spreads out from there. That way you can easily kind of identify. Instead of just like, oh, oop, I actually I meant for me to do it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, pet the squirrel. Okay, let's go, let's go. Let's be good. Uh-oh. Jeez. <laughs> You go to the window and pet the squirrel. Of course, why wouldn't you? It's a cute squirrel and you want to pet it. Hey, Mr. Squirrel, you say. Ah, stop biting me, you say next, because the squirrel is now biting your hand. But it's too late. You have rabies. Miss Anders has to shoot you so you don't bite anyone else. This makes her very sad. Guess you shouldn't have pet the squirrel. Yeah. So I guess we only have one page choice four. since to go to page three. Page three. <laughs> why don't you like squirrels? There's, this is the game! It's so cute and oh, nice. <laughs> It must be very mean. No, it's not. None of the options lead to death. Life is strange. This is your game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they must be very mean. The squirrel seems annoyed that you ignored her. She runs in and steals the book report right off your desk, and then runs outside. That squirrel stole my book report, you tell the teacher. Uh-huh, whatever you say, Miss Anders responds, clearly not believing you. What do you do? Chase the squirrel, page four, or stay at class, page ten? Stay in class. Okay. This shit. <laughs> this is a late page number. It's probably death. Yep. Yeah. You decide not to chase the squirrel. When the time comes for you to present your book report, you tell Miss Anders that a squirrel stole stole it and ran away. She doesn't believe you. Remember, I told you she doesn't believe you. Why didn't you listen? You should pay more attention. Anyway, Miss Anders reports you to the principal, and soon you're kicked out of school for being a bad student. Without school, you can't ever get a job or make money. Now you live in a shack without TV and do drugs. Soon you will be dead. This Guess you like, should have paid wow. attention. Wow. Holy crap. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> um, Alright, so let's go back. What was it, page four? Page three. Yeah, hey, let's do it. Chase the squirrel. Page four. <clears throat> as soon as Miss Anders turns around, you run out the window and chase the squirrel. It's a very bad thing to do, and you yeah, hope that you won't get in yeah. trouble later, but you probably will. Outside, you look around, but you can't find the squirrel. Is she gone? Oh, there she is. She's standing next to the sewer hole. You run up to her. Then she gets scared and jumps down. Oh boy, do you really want to go down there? Find another way. Find another way, page six. Oops. Sorry. I don't blame you. That sewer hole looks pretty scary. 
But is there any other way down? Suddenly a light bulb appears above your head. You can use it to light your way back to your house and into your bathroom. You step one foot into the toilet and flush. Whoosh! Next thing you know, you are in the sewer. On the ground, you see a trail of tiny footprints to the left and to the right. And Oh, and chewed paper to the right. Which way do you go? Uh, I don't know why you'd go left, but left is always right, so yeah, let's do that. Right. You picked right! I mean left, which was right. It's confusing. In the distance, you see this... Oh, wow. I didn't expect to actually yeah. progress. Yeah, dude. Uh, right. Left is right. Dude. Left is right. <laughs> In the distance, you see the squirrel. It is not, But he's not moving. In fact, he's dead. Who would kill a poor squirrel? Suddenly, the ground begins to shake, and in the corner, a giant rat appears. You should put up the pictures at the bottom. Uh, it's the biggest rat you've ever seen. The biggest thing, anything you've ever seen. The Rat King. The Rat King is wearing a crown and standing at the throne of all your missing homework, including your book report. What do you do? Run, run away or run towards it? Run towards it, obviously. Because it's page 12. Your dad always tells you to run toward your problems, not away from them. Unfortunately, you picked a really bad time to start listening to him. You run right towards the Rat King. First, he seems surprised. You try to punch him in his face, but you forgot his long, hairy, gross tail. He wraps you up like a boa constrictor and drops you into his mouth, swallowing you with one gulp. Uh, oh, wow. Now you see what is inside inside the rat looks like. This would make a great science report. Too bad you won't be alive to this tell is it everyone. Science report, that is. Oh, no, why would you? <laughs> okay, this is, this is where we were. Page five. Run away is eight, page five. You run away like a scaredy cat. I don't blame you. That thing is gross. As you run, you almost trip on a small, shiny object. You pick it up. It's a lighter. Your mom never tells you to play with these. But she's not here right now, is she? Now's your chance to kill the Rat King and protect all the students' homework once and for all. This is your chance to be a hero. Just kidding. You don't get a choice. You may get to choose some things, but I'm still the author here. You have to attack the Rat King. How do you want to attack him? Bernie's tail is probably the wrong option, so let's go with that. Alright. Uh, eleven. You decide to burn his gross, long, hairy tail. Good plan. Whoosh! The Rat King's tail is on fire. He does not like that one bit. He starts freaking out, waving his tail around like crazy. You all know the trash and dirty diapers in the sewer? They are highly inflammable, which means the same as flammable for some reason. What? And suddenly the entire sewer catches on fire. You're surrounded by grass and sewer flames. Oh, gross sewer flames. This really is really how you die, burning to death in the Rat King in the disgusting sewer? Yes, it is. Yes, oh, shit, what page was that? And we were on... This one? The running one? Yeah. Okay, so we go to page 13. Burn, Burn his, his thro throne. Oh, sure. Chloe's yeah. oh, oh, <laughs> Chloe's cleaning her room. We should really clean ours. There we go. Uh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> well, I don't want to do this every time they go back and forth. I'm sorry. That's alright. Sorry. Like, frequently in the kitchen. How does this work? We usually have. Because I have. I don't have my big fucking fat chair here. Oh. We'll deal with it. Alright. <clears throat> you decide to burn the Rat King's throne. It hurts It hurts you to burn all that amazing homework, including your wonderful book report. But you remember that it's for a good reason. As soon as the throne catches fire, the Rat King begins screaming, No, my throne! Suddenly, the Rat King begins to shrink, and long before it, he is back to the size of a normal rat. He can't even climb out of his huge crown. Aw, oh, he's so cute now. You run back to class and tell Miss Andrews all about the Rat King and everything that happened. Not only does she forgive you for not doing your book report, but she declares that you are the greatest hero in the school. Duh. Alright, so...